How's it going guys? Happy Thursday. Big, big day today. We got a massive Arsenal game today uh, in the Europa League. We have the NFL draft tonight, so enjoy your day, folks. Uh, and if you're watching this video, well, enjoy the video because we only have two races left in this season for the NASCAR Heat 5 career. Uh, and it's going to be tough to win the championship because I'm not moving from the grip setting. We're going to keep it at normal grip and I'm going to have to win the championship with probably a 10th to 15th place car. I mean, that's probably what we're going to have at Phoenix. So it's going to be really tough. We're going to see who we have to race against uh, in today's video because we're going to Martinsville. So this is the penultimate, penultimate race. Uh, again, big shout out to all the Patreons who are supporting the channel. And Philip is the new member uh, joining that group. So Philip, thank you very much for, for joining in there. So that's your shout out, guys. See, I'm getting quicker with that. He's like, that was like 10 seconds. See, I'm, I'm, I'm getting quicker and quicker. You know, we're going to get rolling there. Um, all right, but let's let's get into it. We have $10 million in the bank. I actually could do something. <laughs> if we have $10 million, can I? No, no, that's 18.6. Okay, so yeah, we can't really do much. Okay. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, we'll see what we do here. All right, so I want to memorize the standings before we get into the race so I know exactly what we're looking at. So we have, we're, we're in, Blaney's in, Keselowski is two points ahead of Hamlin, but that, that, gap is like a little bit misleading he's not two points ahead of the cutoff so he's actually 23 points ahead of Harvick which would be the one that he's racing against so Kozlowski's pretty safe right now and Denny Hamlin is also you know he is on the bubble but he's 21 points ahead of Kevin Harvick so what has to essentially happen this race is basically one of these two have to finish outside the stage points while one of these guys either win the stages or they finish second in the stages get a lot of stage points and, and that's how they may be able to point their way in but if that's not the case and what most likely will be the case is one of Harvick, Logano, Kyle Busch and Ryan Newman who I think Newman's probably done right Newman's 76 points back here um he's he's probably out so one of Harvick, Logano and Kyle Busch has to win or they have to massively do well in the stage stage uh stage one and two get 10 or 9 playoff or stage points um and that way they could kind of then race against Kozlowski and Hamlin via you have to beat them by five or six spots that's probably what uh that, that would be the easier way to do it or you're gonna have to win the race um we will not have a good car for this race now the reason is we only have one short track car that car is being saved for phoenix so even though this short track car is 100 all the way around we will be using uh probably one of the super speedway or speedway something like that that's the car that we will be using for marginal so it's not going to be a very good car uh, which is unfortunate, but we'll see what we can do in the Martinsville race and most importantly just kind of watch around what's going on around us. So let's get straight to it. Guys, I'm worried I might have made a massive mistake. So you know how you, you're able to pick the car, select car. Oh my God, don't tell me I selected. I don't even know what car I selected. I have no idea because I'm so used to just automatically pressing A. I think it selected the short track car. I don't know. I don't know what car it selected. I can't, if I can quit the career, I'm trying to figure out a way that maybe I can reselect the car. I don't think I can though. If we can't, that's gonna be a massive problem because now if the Phoenix car is all messed up, which I am, okay, no, no, oh, thank God. Oh, okay, all you had to do is back out of the career. Oh, I almost had a heart attack. Okay, it was, the, okay, no, we're not using that car. We're using the Speedway car. Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, oh, I'm going to have enough heart attacks today, okay? I'm going to have enough, especially around 3 o'clock. I don't need more. Good Lord. I don't see... I see Hamlin was fifth. Kozlowski is... I saw going. Not very high. Okay, so no one's really up towards the front that is of importance. I mean, Truex is up front, but he's not... Uh, I'm sorry, but he's not important. So, oh God. What is going on in my car right now? We're good? Everything good? All right, let's go. Now remember, we are down on horsepower, so the car is not going to be very good, especially coming off the corners. 27 laps to go in stage one. We should just be able to go all the way through as I completely hit the back of Joy Gase, but yeah, we're, you could see. Coming out of the corners, no horsepower, nothing we can do. It just is, it, it is what it is. We are sacrificing this race for Phoenix, and in previous seasons, we actually had to win this race to actually get to Phoenix. But uh, no, not this season. We are sacrificing this one completely. And just kind of biding our own time. Can I please have some horsepower coming out of the corner? No? Okay. Oh, Ryan Blaney's back here. Oh, I'll, I'll race against you at Phoenix. Okay, we're getting passed right now for 37th right now. That was not very good. We are in danger of going a lap down. Truex is not that very far behind. Look at the minimap. 
Plus, we're 18 seconds behind, so you can just do the math in the lap times. He's about two seconds behind us. There he is. He's at the tail end of this little pack. I'm trying to make my way through this little field, but the car is not very good. And it's not it's not handling bad. It's just slow. <laughs> There's not much I could do. All right. We, it's been a while since we haven't had a 100 all the way around car. 17 laps going stage one. We'll just methodically march our way up there. I'll be up there by lap 50. You know, we'll just, I don't, to be, I don't know if we'll be able to win, but, you know, at least I, I should be able to run higher than 30th. I love how at Martinsville I have to run the second lane more often than I can run the bottom on this game. I just have to, to get around the AI. I mean, I, I have to run the top. This is why there is no room on the bottom. Can't really move them out of the way either. So we're running the second lane. I mean, borderline third lane here at Martinsville. And I will, there, there is some light at the end of the tunnel here. The car, I mean, 23 laps in, I honestly can't tell the difference of this track between more grip and normal grip. It feels the same. Car handles pretty good, so that gives me a little bit of hope for Phoenix. Maybe that the difference between those two settings won't be that bad. I mean, as I get loose coming off the corner right there, but I mean, we are running like what an 88 car right now, and we're kind of marching our way through the field of 25th. I mean, it's getting closer and closer. You know, if we had track position, we would have been able to get a little bit higher, but it's not terrible. I'm just, I am worried about Phoenix though. I'm, I'm we're. To win the championship, we're probably going to need everyone to run outside the top 10. I don't think that's possible, but we'll see. Okay, the stage should be ending very soon. Denny Hamlin and Truex are battling for the lead right now. I see them switching icons down there in the mini-map. They're going to come. Who's going to win the stage? It's going to be Truex? Yes, it's going to be Truex who wins the stage. That means Hamlin probably finished second. And that's not good news for guys like Logano, Harvick, and Kyle Busch. There we go, stage over as 10th place crosses. Let's see where they are. Kyle Busch, 13th. Kevin Harvick, Joey Logano, 7th. That's not good enough. Keselowski's even ahead of them. So, okay, we've gotten to the point now where, yes, if if uh, it will be Ryan Blaney, us, Brad Keselowski, Denny Hamlin, unless Logano, Harvick, or Kyle Busch wins this race, which I don't. it doesn't look like they will at the moment. But we, ha we still have a long way to go. All right, up to 21st. Let's try to get to the top 10 now and uh, see what kind of speed this car actually has. I just cannot make my way through this field. Eight laps and and eight laps in stage two, and it makes sense. I mean, when, you lo when you're losing, and we've had this situation on Martinsville plenty of times, when you're losing three tenths coming out of the corners, how are, how are you supposed to make a pass? That's, that's how you make passes at Martinsville is coming off the corners. So it makes sense. You know, we're just kind of floundering around. That's what this race is going to be like. It just seems like we can't. I can't go anywhere. I'm just stuck. There's just nothing I can do. I'm trying as hard as I can, but there is no power in the car. Car handles fine, which I'm, I'm happy with. It doesn't seem like the grip settings issue, just there's no power in the car. So 21 laps to go. We're just going to wait and see. I mean, I'm going to keep trying, but look, look at this. There goes another tenth, maybe a tenth and a half, two tenths. I mean, four tenths a lap, basically, just on the straights. It's basically, We're down a cylinder. <laughs> That's the best way to explain it. Oh my god, I've been on the outside of Chase Elliott for like 10 laps. <laughs> oh, I can't do anything. I can't. I've tried everything in the book to see if I could get around these guys, and I just, I don't have speed. Hey, this is, I am literally racing down a cylinder. If you're ever wondering what it's like to be down a cylinder, and you have to go race at Martinsville, this is it. This is it right here. You, you, you're down a cylinder, you got no horsepower, and... That's that. I mean, this is embarrassing how much faster I am in the corners, but can't do anything down the straights. I mean, we restarted 21st, and we're in 20th. And I'm, I'm not sandbag. I'm trying as hard as I can, and we've only gained one spot. It's not many times you can say that in this career that that, that has happened. It's uh, a little bit embarrassing. Eight laps to go. Ryan Blaney's pressuring. I'm just trying to hang on. Uh, I just need power. There is no power. There's nothing I can do. Oh, well. How are we going to get a good result? I mean, lap traffic isn't even helping us. I don't I have no idea. I am starting to feel the grip setting, though. Uh, I'm starting to feel that now. The car is losing grip in the corners now, but we're t it, it takes 28 laps to do it, so it's not that bad. Uh, it's 11 laps of fuel left. All right. And we're catching lap traffic, which could have been the time maybe to make some moves, but... Oh, okay, now I'm really struggling. Okay, maybe, maybe the grip setting does play a factor. 30 laps in, one lap remaining in stage two, and we're going to finish right where we restarted, 21st. This is bad. 
This is not how I want to prepare for a championship race. And it, it is insanely worrying to me that this, this grip setting does this big of an effect. I don't know how I'm going to win a Phoenix. I don't, I, I don't know. I have no idea. How are we going to win the championship Phoenix like this? I, I, got, I got no idea. We went from winning every race to fighting for top 15s every week. So it's kind of what happened to Denny Hamlin, actually, in the playoffs last season. <laughs> he only had, like, one top 10. All right, so we'll go again. I mean, there is just nothing I can do. Oh, my goodness. And, by the way, Har Harvick, Kyle Busch, and Logano, they didn't do anything that stage either. I've been keeping an eye on them, so... Uh, it, they, one of those guys have to win. Uh, it, it does look like it's going to be Keselowski, Hamlin, Blaney, and us in the final four. And I will try to get some sort of a result here at Martinsville. If I could just get any resemblance of power coming off the corners, please. Lord, I dealt with this enough earlier in the career. Don't make it happen to me again now at the end of the career. Come on. Trust me, I remember those days. I remember literally every single video I was complaining about horsepower. <laughs> every single time. I'm losing five tenths down the streets. It, it was good times, to be honest. <laughs> good, good times. Oh, I don't want to relive those. I'm reliving it right now, and it's not, it's not fun. I, I, don't, I don't like reliving it. Give me my horsepower back. Or I could just be like NASCAR and say, hey, have a 510 horsepower car with a tapered spacer at Texas, right? You're asking for more horsepower. Now nah, we're going to take it down. You get, did you guys know an actual Chevy Camaro has 650 horsepower? Or is it 625? Somewhere around there. That's like the stock Chevy Camaro horsepower. And a NASCAR Chevy Camaro at Texas in the All-Star Race is going to have 510. That's just downright embarrassing. <laughs> You're worse than the stock cars now. Oh, oh Lord, NASCAR. What are you people doing? Oh, caution. Don't know for what. Ow, ow, what is going on? Okay. Yee. Only 27 cars in the lead lap. I'm going to pit because I'm running 16th, so it doesn't really matter. Four tires and fuel. Give me a little bit of a pit advantage. We lose 10 spots. I do not care. Uh, we'll be able to work something out strategy-wise. That's our only shot this race, so hopefully it works out. Uh, can I? I didn't shift quick enough, and we lose more spots. Uh, okay. Well... I was hoping to go three wide top and one and two, but that's not going to happen now, is it? I have to make up all the time back because I missed my shifts. <laughs> so sad. All right, 40 laps to go. We've clawed our way back to around where we were running before the stops in 15th and 16th and 17th, somewhere around here. I'm trying every trick in the book. I'm trying to slow these guys down the straightaways by just leaning on them. There we go. That's able to get me a spot. Up to 16th, and now we just kind of wait and just bide our time until hopefully green flag stops I'm, I'm really hoping we can get to that set to that point because then we might be able to do something with the strategy and everything or at least lap traffic if one when, whenever Denny Hamlin decides to catch them and yes Denny Hamlin is leading here's Kyle Busch one of the contenders uh, he's not in contention Kevin Harvick's behind us he's right there in uh, there he is you see him in 18th two cars behind uh, he's not in contention and Joy Logano, I think, if I can look up ahead, there he is. Uh, he looks like he's running 8th or 7th, so he's not in contention either. So, yeah, I think we could confidently say playoff field's probably set between Hamlin, Kozlowski, us, and Blaney. Now I'm just going to keep trying my little ass off to get into some decent finishing position. I'm trying. This is one of the hardest races I've done. I'm trying everything I can. I, re I really am. Oh, Lord, I am struggling. Uh, 25 laps to go. Please put me out of my misery. Oh, man. I do not miss this. I do not miss grinding my ass off on this game to uh, try to get decent results. I am in a world of trouble. Uh, 16 laps of fuel left. These guys do have to come down pit road soon. We, we did pit when these guys didn't. I don't know exactly how long the fuel run was. Probably it was like six to seven laps. So it should be around that 10 lap area. So hopefully they come down soon. And uh, I don't know. We could salvage something with 20 something laps to go still there inside all right clear low i can explain um <laughs> oh my god i was in so much torture I was closing. Oh, no. I can't believe I just did that. Oh, God. I have to show it back on video. We have to zoom into my face, and you'll see exactly what... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Editing this one's going to be fun. 
Guys, I was in so much torture. I was like... I was so tired of being tortured at this track. I was closing my eyes. I was I was struggling. You know when you're like on a five hour drive on the highway, and um, if you if you guys ever and, and you start like you start getting really tired, you might just take a break. Like I was just doing the same thing, lap after lap after lap, and going nowhere. And I was just like, oh my god, and I was just so tired. And I was I, I was struggling to keep my eyes open. And coming out of turn four, I lost it. I think. I, I probably already showed you in, the, in post editing, but I'm pretty sure that's exactly what happened. Oh, that's <laughs> I can't do that in, in oh I can't do that next race. Even if we're struggling, I have to be fully locked in. This race didn't really matter that much, but next race I can't be afford I can't afford to do that nonsense. Oh no! All right, well, field should be set at least. You got good news there. Am I awake? Good. Hey. Mm. Wait, what? I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me just move my camera. And let's zoom in right here. Am I seeing that correctly? What in the hell has happened? Why is Ryan Newman advanced? Race results. How in the hell has that happened? Am I... How... How... How has this no-neck man done this? How... How? That's... Did me DNFing really give Ryan Newman the win? How... Hmm? Hmm? I'm I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, what in the world? Yeah. yeah okay. I am I am so lost. I am so lost. I, I I was sure I was gonna face Denny Hamlin. We have a final four of Brad Keselowski, Ryan Blaney, and Ryan Newman. Now that you don't see every day. That you don't see every day. Okay. Well, I'll see you guys. Uh, probably on Saturday for for this one. Uh, for the for the championship finale. On, or it might be Monday, either Saturday, Saturday or Monday, one of those two. Or no, Saturday or Tuesday. Saturday or Tuesday, one of those two. I cannot believe what I have just seen. What? 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 Okay, okay, I am so lost. Guys, subscribe if you're new. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below. Sorry for DNFing, but why has this happened? What, what is going on in my, on my monitor right here? Okay. I'll see you guys later. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you guys for the Patreon uh, members as well. Thank you guys for subscribing, watching the videos, enjoying the channel. I will see you guys later. And yeah, I'm still lost. Peace out.